Hey there, it's time for another episode of What's in CJ Willie's Mailbag. I found some more cards that I needed to complete my 1984 Donruss Baseball Master Set. I'm going to go ahead, open this up, and talk about my latest eBay purchase. Okay, I picked up seven cards from the same seller. This was awesome. I got a great deal because I picked up each of these cards for 99 cents. Typically they cost a little bit more and they're kind of hard to track down. So for those that have been following my channel and those that haven't, the 1984 Donner Baseball set is one of my favorite sets. I've been doing a series of videos about the entire set. I've included the links to those videos in the description below, so go check them out. A little bit more of a comprehensive overview of the 1984 Donruss Baseball Set. Why do I say Master Set? It's because in packs, boxes, rack packs, etc., one version of these cards was released with some errors. When the factory sets were produced, those errors were corrected. Those cards are a little bit more difficult to find because there wasn't a ton of factory sets produced, and a lot of people didn't necessarily break apart their factory sets. So, let me explain the difference. I'm going to use Ron Kittle as an example. In the cards that were released in packs, on the back of all the Diamond King cards at the bottom right, the name Perez Steel Galleries is spelled, except for Steel is misspelled because it doesn't have an E in the last name. When the factory sets came out, that was corrected so that the E was in the last name still. So all of the Diamond Kings, including the non-numbered checklist, have that variation. I've been hunting down the variation for quite some time, and I'm getting pretty close. I think I'm just three cards away. Matt Young, Mike Schmidt, which is going to cost me a little bit of money, I think, and the checklist itself. So in this pickup, I was able to get six of those cards. The six cards that I picked up that have the corrected still spelling on the back, Dave Concepcion, Leon Durham, Ray Knight, Ron Kittle, Lance Parrish, and left him sitting down there, Pedro Guerrero. Now there was another variation that occurred in packs as well. There were two of the rated rookies that did not have a number on the back of their card. Mike Stenhouse and Ron Darling. Flipping over the back of the card in the upper left hand corner, the card number is missing. In the factory sets that was corrected, so the Mike Stenhouse correction has the number 29. Ron Darling's card is missing the number 30. The factory sets corrected that. For whatever reason, the Mike Stenhouse and Ron Darling corrected cards are really, really hard to find, even though they were produced in the same amount of factory sets as the Diamond Kings. The Ron Darling card is probably going to be the most difficult to pick up because it's his rookie card. I think it was the only regular version card issued by a card company in 1984. Anyway, I am super happy to make this pickup. I am now down to just a handful of cards to complete the master set. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please like, subscribe, and share. Tell me in the comments section what you think about my pickups for my 1984 Donruss master set. Till next time when I'm back with another mailbag package.